Internet. Welcome back. Welcome back. We still have this beer, because for me it's back-to-back -back videos. I literally just hit pause and then started recording. Let's pour the rest of the beer in there. Mm-hmm. Go and check my last video, the Woosaw Chakra double header. if you hadn't seen the uh, the videos for it, uh, for the beer. Uh, but it's a fantastic beer. It's called The Incident from Burlington Beer Company. Double, uh, double IPA, 8.5%. Beer reviews and spinners. Mm, one more sip. So let's chat, shall we? Let's chat about the mini chakra. This thing is pretty sweet. This thing blew me away. So I'd kind of been stepping back and not buying nearly as many spinners. Um, I've got a solid collection. I still like my spinners. I still have a spinner every day. I'm not spinning any less. I'm just buying a lot less. Um, just because there isn't stuff that's really kind of like, oh, look at this. And then it's funny. Once you stop buying spinners and realize how much money you were... Uh, oh, excuse me. I want you to stop buying spinners and start realizing how much money you were spending on spinners. Um, it is kind of like... I've become um, especially picky about my purchases now. And it's funny, um, as much as I've always enjoyed Woosaw, and I've definitely, I'm not going to say like I'm not a fan, um, I never felt like I would just always get the new Woosaw. I never felt like that. I almost kind of felt like, I don't know the right way to say it. I'm not sure what the words are, but they're good. They're great. They're wonderful. I just somehow felt that I wasn't sure I just needed to get all the new ones. Um, and lately, all the new stuff from Musa, I've just been like, oh, I got to have it. And I'm not feeling that way about almost anything else. So it's kind of it's kind of weird to me. Like, I, I wouldn't have really pictured kind of like that's where I would stay in the spinner game when I started. Like, you know, six months ago, if you told me, like, I was going to pretty much not be buying any spinners, but what spinners would I be buying? Um, I don't know if I would have thought Woosa. Um, but they just continue to do amazing work and stuff that really impresses me. And it just kind of, like, eventually wears me down. I keep seeing it. And I'm like, oh, look at all these Zaftigs. You know, they've been out for a little while. And I was like, oh, I got to get one. You know, so they're just coming out with stuff that we, you know, <laughs> um, that's good. Um, and I really appreciate someone that's, you know at essentially the level that Chris Branch is at, that's still making it and still pushing the boundaries and still continuing to innovate with like every drop. Um, the guy's crazy. He's absolutely a genius. Um, no question in my mind to see the stuff that he's doing over there. So um, nothing against any other makers. There's a lot of people doing a lot of good stuff, but like, let's take a look at this, right? Excellent machining, well done spinner, but they're just more or less cranking out versions of this, right? Um, you know, look at the stubby, you know, look at the cocoon, right? Excellent spinner, but they're just cranking out the same versions of this. Um, someone that's pushing it a little bit more, um, you know, Thrax, they're coming out with a couple different versions of this. They're coming out with like a mini nano version and their mini and then their full size and their tri and the tri nano. The guys at full throttle are really, um, you know, they've got, they're, they're still pushing what they're doing, but they're still kind of staying within the same designs. Um, you know, zero feud, you know, all that stuff. Um, even you look at something like, you know, Fidget HQ with the amount of variation they come out with and the damn designs guys, the amount of variation they come out with, right? It's, it's still, it's not to the level where Wusa is like, all right, we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep turning it up. And some of it is just, you know, it's the same design with just a bunch of different patterns, but that still is machining work that needs to be done. You know, so they're almost, they're almost all like custom spinners. Right. Okay. This week we're gonna do this. Oh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do this. And he continues to keep finding ways to innovate. Right. So like when we look at the chakra, it was one of the first ones where. So essentially, when Wusa came out, I guess this will be a little Wusa history lesson because we'll, we'll get to that when we get to this. Um, you know, but they were essentially flat spinners, right, with a button that said Wusa on it. And um, then they started coming out with the elite ones with the different patterns in it. So you got something like this, the um, the Zen, you had like the Orbit. Um, and then they kind of really 
you know, push themselves. The hype train was in full effect. The first time I really saw the hype train happening in the uh, in spinners and especially for Wusaw was with the chakra, right? And this is all one piece of metal. So essentially, right, you've got to machine away everything that's not the dome. You've got to get this mirror polished. So um, that's a machining challenge, right? That's like a design challenge that you've got to solve. Um, then after that, they came out with the boss, right? The boss is you know, had a lot more machining going on, a lot more stuff to consider, curves and whatnot, and I don't know, excuse me, enough about machining. Um, you know, then they've come out with ones with cutouts and this, that, and the other thing. Um, then they really started pushing the envelope. Um, I shouldn't say pushing the envelope with this one quite yet. I pulled the vote up a little too early. You know, but then they came out with this design. Again, lots of, like, scoops and not just flat planes where all this stuff needs to be machined and polished and then these cool, sweet buttons. Um, and then... Was the Ohana first or the Voda? I'm not sure. Uh, but then the Ohana, right, then turned out to be the spin time. Oops, I accidentally created the longest spinning spinner. Sorry about that. Just, you know, no big deal. Just kind of accidentally did that, not on purpose. So love to see what he did if he really challenged himself to get the longest spinning spinner. So maybe a little thicker here, maybe a little further out, and then some cutouts in here, and then reduce this mass around the button. Um, you could have a, a, a serious demon. You can almost look at that video of the, the, I think it was a Japanese company that made that spinner that went for about 450 bucks. That would spin for about 24 minutes. So, um, and then the Voda, like look at the machine that has to go on in the Voda, right? Like it's tapered down, it's tapered over. So that's what you're paying for. So, um, oh, it's so good. So it really just continues to push themselves. And then with something like this, let's look at this for a second. It's called the channel. It's got a channel around the outside. I don't know how he machines this um, and what sort of machines he has, but you know, most of the time you've got a piece of metal that's locked into a machine and the machine cuts around it. But how does the machine cut in from the side? How is this held? Okay, you start thinking like, oh, you just cut around it. But then how do you cut around it and keep it balanced? How do you hold this in exactly the same spot so the machine hits it in exactly the same ways to cut all that, cut all that out? People that are really into machining probably either know how that's done and maybe don't think it's a big deal but to me like just knowing what some of the challenges are in machining hitting it from all these different sides because it's not like it's just one cut across right it follows the curve so i don't know pretty nuts how many spinners can you think of like go and look through your collection how many spinners have anything on the sides i challenge you to find one that has a, has something in the middle right that's not like a step you know like this is a step right um, but what has a cut? What has a channel in the side? I can't think of a single one. If you think of one, let me know, and I'd love to be proven wrong, but and that's probably because it's a pain in the butt. And then I'm getting this for 40 bucks. What? Internet? 40 bucks? Yes. The mini chakra, 40 bucks. Now it is aluminum buttons, uh, but it's a Zaftig. It's got, just like we saw in the double header yesterday, the chakra. Um, it's got the, the brushed finish on the top that's almost like a mirror finish, right? See that? It's almost like a mirror finish. It's a very, very fine brushing. I don't know how Aaron Carroll would feel about it because he's got the, uh, I know he likes that machine finish with the brush flats, so, but yeah, fantastic. So this guy's a little bit, this guy's a champ. I'm really impressed with this. I, I started kind of getting on that little tangent and kind of wasn't really sure. I couldn't find the words and kind of stumbled there a little bit. Hope you got through that internet. But, um, you know, I ended up seeing this and this was what I really wanted to get. And I was like, oh, they're doing the Memorial Day sale. Um, get a little bit of a discount, get free shipping. So I went in for this and I saw this and I was like, now's the time to get it. Let's try that. Let me get the mini shock ride. I'm not honestly quite sure why I just pulled the trigger on it. Kind of an impulse buy. And let me tell you, I'm so glad I did. In fact, I may even enjoy this more than I enjoy this, um, which almost sounds blasphemous to say. And it's funny, I don't really think of myself as a mini or a micro guy. I like big, heavy spinners. But there's something so fidgetable and so fun about a handful of the minis I've been getting lately. You know, this guy was so good. This guy is so good. You know, my... One of my all-time favorites, right, is actually a pretty small spinner. So I don't know, maybe I do like spinners. Maybe I like mini spinners. You know what the reality is, just like everything else in my life, I'm pretty eclectic. Um, I like things for various, various reasons, and they all vary, right? I thoroughly enjoy this guy too, right? Super heavy, all tungsten with the tungsten buttons, right? It's like over 200 grams, you know. Um, I enjoy that as well. So anyway, um, so it's not even so much about mini or large. It's just about a, a good spinner and a good design. And this is a fantastic design. There's something about the extra thickness and the flats on the corners, just like with the double header yesterday, that really let you 
just get in there and get it any which way. Um, because it's small and light, let's weigh it. Right, 62 grams, almost half the weight of the, of the one we looked at. I was going to say yesterday, and for me it was just a few minutes ago. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload these back-to-back. -back, but um, Two-handed spins are fantastic. Getting in on that preloaded, you've got the curvature on the side. And I didn't really talk about this yesterday, but that curvature on the side, um, I don't really use in fidgeting much. But if I'm doing the, um, instead of doing sort of like the gallop, I'm just skipping the middle finger and I'm grabbing here. Um, you can get in there and get a good pull right on that corner. But I just find it so easy to hit the outsides that I'm almost always using that. But it's worth mentioning that it's there. Um, so anywho, but uh, yeah, on this guy, you find your finger, you can find your finger in there a lot, especially if you're flicking it out. But it's a chakra, look at those chakra curves, and in fact, yeah, there it is, because of that channel, look at the double, the double chakra, double sun power, what? What is that from, double sun power? Let me know in the comments below. Um, like I was saying, two-handed flicks are good. Um, the fact that it's got aluminum buttons, I don't even honestly really notice in this particular one because it's a micro mini spinner. Um, I don't really feel like it's, I don't really notice that they're aluminum buttons as much. Um, and they've got an excellent little dish, remind me of Kong buttons quite a bit. And Kongs, you know, are some of my favorite buttons if you watch my channel. Um, speaking of channel, um, the channel has no hot spots. So I would think, you know, you've got a slight Watch the light bend around the corner. You've got this slight chamfer there. And I mean, I shouldn't even say slight. It's a pretty generous chamfer, right? The machining over the, I don't know. You're a wizard. A wizard is legit. You keep, every time you come out with something, Chris Branch, you, you re-earn the title, the wizard. So the wizard of Wusa. So we're off to spin from the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Wusa. Because, 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 because of all the spinners he does. So... Uh, but the way it plays with the light, fantastic. It's it's light, it's portable, it's good to go anywhere. Um, yeah, I don't know what else we can say about it. I can't really think of any negatives. And I hate to just gush and not come out with a negative on something. And, uh, oh, so here's a negative. Yeah, here, we can definitely come up with one. Um, I do want to say before our, uh, we go too too far... Um, the, it's got the same sort of recess buttons. Again, like I was saying, I really like, I don't know what it is about the visual effect of that and the way it does whatever it does. Um, but I'm really appreciating buttons that are sort of like recessed in. So big on you for doing that, Chris Branch. Really dig that. So, um, spin time, I don't think I mentioned, I'm using the arcade bearing, the same one that I used in this one yesterday to get sort of a longer spin. Um, we got uh, a little over six minutes, six minutes and actually almost seven, six minutes and 40 seconds. Now that I recall exactly what it was, it was 639 and change. Um, so that's obviously a really good time. Um, but then we also got, um, with the one drop bearing that's in here, a little over four minutes. So, but one drop bearings vary. So I got about as much spin time in this with a one drop as I did in this with a one drop. So, and that arcade bearing, I think is a little toasted. So getting almost seven minutes, um, you know, you just get some good bearings and most of these spinners can perform. So, but yeah, I was really happy to see seven minutes out of something so tiny, so little, right? When we looked at the Nano, we saw how little that was and it's about the same height. So, um, so negative wise though, so less of an issue on something like this, but because these buttons are recessed, a lot of times you can get like a little spacer to use other aftermarket buttons with this, but because these buttons are recessed, um, there's a lot more spinner body to run into. So you've got the offset buttons. You're really going to only be able to put smaller buttons with spacers on here. So I know a lot of people like to mix up their button game, but uh, it's going to be even a little more difficult with something like this because they're smaller buttons. Uh, but they kind of shrink everything down and it's nice to see them kind of mixing it up. So, and I don't think the buttons are really need to be replaced. So even if you're concerned about aluminum buttons on something with this size, I forget they're aluminum. Honest, you know, honest to God, heart, hand to heart internet. I, I don't think of these as aluminum buttons. They don't almost, they, they even don't really feel like aluminum the way they're polished, but um, just like I don't really notice them on here. They're a little more noticeable on here because the buttons themselves are a little larger and I don't know why that is, but it, you can kind of tell they're aluminum, but yeah, you almost really can't even here. I felt like I, I, I noticed it more on this, but I don't think I did. Um, balance wise, Again, the wizard does what the wizard does. It just stops. We'll wait for it. It's gonna stop. It's 
gonna stop. You can see it's spinning nice and slow, so we know that the bearing has, I mean, it's a one drop, so it's got a little bit of resistance, so it's not just gonna spin quite as freely as like a fully clean, really high end, broken in, you know, fidget HQ, so, but it just stops. So what that does too, and that's part of the reason why I like a, a really, I really, I haven't even tried another spinner, uh, another bearing in here other than putting the arcade in here just for the sake of spin time. Cause I can tell you like this actually, I really would enjoy a one drop or an SBV2, just smooth bearing all day. And because it's a try, you don't even get that little bit of bar dreader if your hand shakes, it's just dead smooth. 100% balanced. Well done, Chris Branch. So I know we just gushed for 15 minutes today and 20 minutes yesterday on Woosaw, but credit where credit is due, man. Like, say what you want to say. It's like, um, it's funny, I've, I've never really been into basketball, but all of a sudden, for whatever reason, the finals this year, I've really been into. And um, it's like Le LeBron, man. Like, hate on him if you want to, uh, but the reality is he is a tremendous player. He's a tremendous athlete. Um, I didn't really care for LeBron for no other reason than it just seemed like, yeah, let's hate on him. And then I saw that... Um, what was that movie with um, Amy Schumacher? I forget, but he's in it, right? So, and it's funny, like, he's just, a t he's, he's hilarious in that movie. So, uh, I kind of was like, oh, all right, let me give this guy a chance. Anyway, so I've been watching the NBA finals and really enjoying them. And, you know, just like, you know, if at this point you're still, like, not a fan of Wusaw, like, it's because you, you don't have love in your heart or you haven't tried one. And if you don't have love in your heart, there's nothing we can do to help you. But if you haven't tried one, that's something that we can help you with. Get over to their shop. I don't think they have any of these in stock right now, um, which is a shame. Like this, I honestly would probably have to say, even get this before this, which is a shame because one, I'm a bar guy. This is such a great bar from Wusaw. I'm so happy with it. But I don't know, man. This thing's pretty special. Uh, but anyway, get over to the Wusaw shop. Pick something up. They got a lot of good stuff. Um, really good prices. 40 bucks for this, man. 40 bucks with whatever sort of magic is going on over there. So anyway, internet, love, kisses, all that good stuff.